Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. Can I splash coffee in his face just to put out a cigarette? He can get his own. Oh, damn. It's just a police car. There's nobody inside. Sam Durkin. I helped him with a case of his about a year ago, and then he helped me with one of mine. We've been paying each other back ever since. Detective? Uh-huh. Yeah, can we talk inside where it's not freezing cold? Can we talk inside? It's freezing out here. Can't smoke inside, thanks to our friend the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, what a wonderful guy. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the murdered man in Chelsea. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program, nobody. You must have suppressed the news, why? Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we take this any further, why are you so interested in this one? What makes this murder more important than any other? Uh, he was killed right in front of me? <laughs> Hmm. Well, to be honest, the, I guess the main reason is just that he appeared to have been tracked down, or he appeared to have been killed as a ghost. Somebody actually murdered a ghost. It looks like they tore them tore him apart. I guess he was killed twice right in front of me, to be honest. He was looking for me. Was he looking for me? He might have been. I think he was, wasn't he? But he was too late. He was looking for me. He was? Why? I don't really know. Uh-huh. Did you know the guy? No, I didn't. So, how did you know he was looking for you? Wait, let me guess. You just do. <sighs> Something like that. Something like that ain't good enough. What else you got? He was killed right in front of me. And what, suddenly this makes it personal? Well, kinda. It might have something to do with me. Uh-huh. And why is that? Why is this murder so important? Eh, just trust me. You've trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know. But I do know that you've helped me clear a few cases. Once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book, but it's how we get things done. But this case, it goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So give me one. Why is this murder so important? Hmm. I'm a suspect? Not really. That doesn't matter to me. Obviously, I didn't kill him. You're the one who sent me there in the first place. That can't be a coincidence. So, you think we sent this guy to your location to... What? Get killed in front of you? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask me anything. You need to tell me why this murder is so important. Should I say just trust me again? Someone has ghost murdering technology? Or powers? You've trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? This is gonna go the same, isn't it? Trust. Yep. Look, but I, that's fine. But this case, it goes now without a good reason. Why is this? I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder. More horrible than just a killing. Uh huh. Any details on what that could be? It needs to be stopped. That's all. Sorry. I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. Fine, if that's the way it is. For what it's worth, it's nothing personal. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah, I get you. Alright, where do I go from here? I, I mean, I need to find his identity. I need to know more about him. How am I going to do that? He keeps looking at Durkin and frowning. I don't think he likes the detective much. Not in front of the detective. He already thinks I'm nuts. 
I just realized I don't really know how much Durkin actually knows about me. I don't remember. So he doesn't know about Joey. Does he know about my powers at all? Hmm. You really don't want to go in there. Oh, really? Look, you and I have an arrangement. I have to keep it quiet, but it works. You go in there and start bugging my colleagues, it will come back to bite both our asses. And neither of us wants that. <sighs> okay. Fine. Alright, anything else we can talk about? Detective? Uh-huh. You found a Jane Doe at the Karth house, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theater Company. You're sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that, but we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. Hmm. Grace and she wasn't safe. That's right, he did say that. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Hmm. I don't think he's going to say anything about the murdered man, since he just said don't ask me about it. But what the hell, let's try it. Could you tell me the victim's name at least? I told you, no. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. The ghost we saw last night said that Grace wasn't safe, and then he... went. Alright, well, searching the internet for Grace, I don't think it's gonna pop up with anything. Or rather, it's gonna pop up with too much. Hmm, any new emails? Mm hmm, nope. Yeah, I'm really not sure where to go from here. Can I offer Joey some coffee? Here, buddy. Not now. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. I don't have much coffee left, I don't- Still Joey, still following me around. Got a sec? You rang? Durkin isn't going to tell us what we want to know. We need to find some other way. Well, we ain't gonna find it standing around here. Perhaps the police know something. Oh, right. In that case, I just realized what I need to do. I might not be able to go inside, but guess who can? Keep our friend busy, I'm gonna sniff around. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing <laughs> Oh, um, I was just admiring the brickwork. Good one, Rosa. The brickwork. Sure. But when was this building built? In the 1950s? I got no idea. Low-rise bonding? Very typical of the era. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. A water cooler in case the scorching hot weather gets too much for you. It says authorized personnel only beyond this point. Fortunately, I think that only applies to living people. Pretty cold. Exactly, you're not really a person, you're a ghost. Isn't that what you're doing? I'm a cop in front of a cop station. What's your excuse? I'm, um, waiting for a cop. <laughs> On a night like this, might take a while. Maybe. At the bottom are the words, Alex Silva, Commissioner. I should probably be taking notes, so I'm going to do that. Alex this thing with Silva. Around, getting kind of weird. <laughs> I told you, I'm waiting for a cab. The subway's just two blocks that way. The stairs are icy. <sighs> Fair enough. He's not convinced, but there's no way he could guess what her actual plan is. Because he doesn't know I have a ghost. Looks like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. A modern gizmo. Probably some kind of phone. It usually is. <laughs> Joey's a little bit behind the times. Just a cop manning the front desk? Hmm. I could blow on him for fun. No reaction. That's cops for you. <laughs> Here we 
Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, is that a photo of him? The guy that just got murdered? According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Piero. I have no idea who that could be. Oh, that was the guy who... Um... Crap, I just read about him in an article or something. Was it the guy who did the drug raids? I think it was the guy who did the drug raids on that place we just went to. I'm not going to investigate every desk I see. I don't even know who this Piero person is. According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Disher. I have no idea who that could be. The name on this nameplate says Disher. I have no idea who that could be. Aha! There's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. Excellent. Don't talk to the press. What about these side rooms? Nope. Just a small interrogation room. It's empty. Probably the same over here. Just a small interrogation. Mm -hmm. Just as I thought, it's an elevator shaft. Oh, the call Joey button isn't here. I suppose I just go straight there, huh? This is some lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in Hawk for life. Well, your life anyway, not mine. Yeah, George Austin must have been rich. Look at this place. It's like a freaking palace. How did they change the bulbs on that thing? That vase looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. I don't recognize the artist, but it looks peaceful enough. Just gonna awkwardly walk past him. Miss, I'm sorry, but you can't go back there. Residence only. Oh, sorry. Fair enough. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. Hmm. Okay, how am I going to get inside of his place? Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Sorry, nobody named Grace lives here. Can you tell me anything about George? I really couldn't, sorry. If you want to know him, you should ask him yourself. Yeah, this is getting seriously awkward. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? <laughs> no really way! Important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. He's gotta think I'm freaking crazy. First I try to walk in the back room without permission. And then I ask to just be let into a guy's apartment. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Okay. Time to switch. Smart uniform, clean cut, seems dedicated to his job. We ain't sneaking past this guy. Hopefully we won't have to. What if I blow on him? Damn drafts. Need to report that before someone complains. Yeah, so why don't you go file a report in the back room? It says holiday clothing drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. Hmm. Sounds like a nice guy. It says it's signed. Looks like it's full of old clothes. Yep, it's an elevator, all right.
I do want to search for Alex Silva, was it? Hopefully I didn't misspell that name. I just wonder if there's things that aren't maybe directly relevant to solving whatever you're doing, but just add some nice background details. Hmm. What if I just search for his name? George Austin. Nope, not a celebrity apparently. Hi. Yes, miss. Right, I need to get back there because there's a clothing drive. Even after I just tried to walk back there without permission and I obviously am not holding any clothes and I just asked to get into his apartment and where George was and I just asked if he knew anybody named Grace. But no, my real my real reason for coming here is because I wanted to say I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. Excellent. So, can I go there? Can I, can I put clothes in the box? I'd better not push my luck. If I know anything, it's not to argue with a determined doorman. That's a reference to something I vaguely remember from a previous game, I feel. Okay. Hi. <laughs> yes, miss? Right, so can I put clothes can in Can you tell me anything else about the clothing drive? No, but if you have any old clothes, feel free to give them to me. I'll put them in the box. <sighs> Better not. If you did that, you wouldn't have any clothes left. Exactly. So, can I get into his place? Is there any way I can look in? It's real. Sorry. Unless you... Unless you've been authorized. Alright, how would I get authorized? How would I do that? Well, if I had a badge, that'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Hmm. Want a coffee? Can I bribe him with coffee? I don't see why he'd need that. There's no answer. I just realized I never tried to use my computer. It takes about an hour to boot up these days. <laughs> Maybe you should buy a new one. Got a sec? What is it? If Grace was close to George, then we have to talk to somebody who knows George. If Grace... Right. Right. So... Hmm. Back out into the cold. <laughs> oh, damn I just went back home. Oh my god. No, no, Rosa, put it back on. At this point, I've probably walked around so much, it's probably like 2 in the morning. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me anything else? No. But if you have- Better not. If and there's nothing I have to combine. They're just these two things. The ghost we saw last night said that Grace wasn't safe. Mm-hmm. Right, well, I'm going to keep thinking about this, and I'll be right back. Are you sure? No. Are you? No. You said... Yes, he does. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace, you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Sure. Oh, there we go. Grace Church. I just had to keep clicking on Grace. It's kind of weird. That uh, cements in my mind that I should be clicking on everything about 20 times. It is an adventure game after all. For better or for worse. Also, in my looking around, I discovered something. Remember the undisclosed email that says contact Tomo for all your networking and security needs? 
Well, I searched the internet for Tomo. Tomo, 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 Tomo. All you need to know about Tomo is there. Uh, is there is no Tomo. If you try to find Tomo, Tomo's already gone. Poof. Who the hell is Tomo and what is this? This is really weird. What if I spell it backwards? Amat. Nope. Alright, so it takes the clothes to Grace Church. Huh, a church of all the places. Really? Ghosts don't like churches? Being a ghost has nothing to do with it. Weekend organ meditations. It says Grace Church in New York, Episcopal, Reverend Gabriel Ullman Rector. Hold on, I should probably search for that name. It says Grace Church in New York, Episcopal, Reverend Gabriel Ullman Rector. Ullman. Any name I see, I think I'm just going to instantly search for it. There we go. New York Theological Seminary alum alumni. Ullman attended 1989 to 1993. Currently based at Grace Church, New York, New York. It says Grace Church. Of course, we knew that already. It's a schedule of services. Nothing is going on at the moment. It leads into the church. Let's hope somebody's home. Ah, oh, hello, priest. He looks pretty deep in thought. Maybe I shouldn't bother him. I'll try anyway. Hi, could I talk to you for a minute? Please keep your voice down. Oh, um, sorry. Is this better? Yes. What can I do for you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Father Gabriel Ullman. It's pretty quiet here tonight. God's house remains open despite the weather. If anybody needs us, we are here. Why the whispers? There isn't anybody around. That makes no difference. The tranquility of this place must be maintained, whether anybody is here or not, especially on a night like tonight. Especially? What does he mean? Has something been happening? Could you tell me about this church? Are you looking to join? Um, not really. I'm afraid now is not the time for a history lesson. Do you know a man named George Austin? I'm afraid not. He was a member of this church. Are you sure? It is quite a large church, as you can see. I'm afraid I am not familiar with George Austin. That's disappointing. George Austin was holding a clothing drive that brought clothes to this church. Are you sure you haven't heard of him? Yes, we deal with hundreds of clothing drives at this time of year. Some we arrange ourselves, while most are volunteers. It is not possible to keep track of every single one. Fair enough. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. This is not a night to be outside. I feel like he's concerned about something specific. I don't think he just means it's cold. It's almost like he's acting as, as if there's some sort of an evil about. It's a book full of handwritten prayers. This book is full of prayers written by the church's congregation. They're all anonymous and they're all written by hand. Hmm. Oh God, please God, let the chemo work. I don't know what I'd do without her. I'm not very good at reading cursive handwriting, so I can only barely read that. Please help me that is something. Oh my, let my uncle get exactly what he deserves. I don't know what to do. I'm so lost if you are out there. Please help. Horrible time. I've already been through so much. Is there light at the end of this tunnel? Is darkness all there is? Suicide the only answer? I don't really want to die. Let me find another way. God, these are horrifying.
These prayers just go on and on. There must be dozens of them. I don't have time to read them all. If any of- I need to narrow it down somehow. Oh, wait a minute. What'd she say? If any of these handwritten prayers are useful, flipping through blindly isn't the answer. I need to narrow it down somehow. Hmm. Just thinking, maybe I could compare... Compare the handwriting. Was it... Did George Austin have his handwriting on the clothing drive note back at the hotel? Or the apartment place, whatever it was? Yeah, it wasn't a hotel. It's was apartment place. I don't know much about church organs, but it seems nice enough. The only problem is I need, like, a picture of his handwriting or something. Obviously, Joey can't get that. Unless he can look through the book. A book on a pedestal. No idea what it's for. Oh, he can. I can't turn the page. <laughs> Damn it. Can I blow on it? I'm not just gonna blow on everything I see. He really doesn't like the fact that I just wanted to blow on everything. I guess he feels used, which, you know, that's fair enough. Um, hi again. Yes. Could you tell me about that book over there? For some, silent prayer isn't enough. They want to write it down and make it real. That is what that book is for. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. Okay, so I think I need something to narrow it down, right? I mean, it seems like that's the only thing for me to really interact with in this room. So, Joey, if you wouldn't mind getting out of the way, please. So, I need something. If any of these handwritten prayers are useful, I need to narrow... Yeah, I feel like I should go back to that note. What do you want me to do, Blo- Yeah, it is handwritten by him, isn't it? It says, Holiday Clothing Dr It's signed mm -hmm. by George Austin. So that's his handwriting. So I need this. Like, I need this piece of paper. Can I blow on it? Aha! I actually managed to solve something again. See, it seems like the curse of the first adventure game puzzle. Only applies to the first puzzle, and after that, I do pretty good. Oh yeah, blow on our way to victory. No euphemism intended there. Better not do that again. The door guy might notice. Smart uniform. We ain't. Um, dropped my pen. <laughs> he, surely at this point he thinks I'm insane. Like, if I was him, I think I might call the police. If somebody like Rosa was constantly walking back and forth, asking creepy questions and trying to get entrance to a stranger's apartment. Oh, I actually skipped his dialogue again. Why you gotta be talking when I'm trying to go inside of a door? With this sample of George's handwriting, I might be able to find something written by him. Gotcha. Leah. I don't need to turn to any other page. More handwriting than I can barely read. Flip. I'm sorry. You can pause right now and read this if you want to, but I really can't read it. For me... I don't know. Screw cursive. It's a handwritten note from George. I'm sure they won't miss it. But think of all the people going cold.
In a prayer written by George, he hoped to save himself and somebody named Leah. Alright, what do I do with that? Should I search for Leah Austin? Let's do that. Nope. George wrote Leah's name down in a prayer. Whatever kind of relationship they have, he must care for her a lot. Leah's name was mentioned in George's prayer at Grace Church. Was she a member? Let's ask. Um, hi again. Yes. Do you know a woman named Leah? I think she was a member of this church. Even if she was, I'm afraid the name eludes me. I'm sorry. No offense, but you're kind of useless. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. All right, so what do I do with that name? I can talk to the doorman about Leah, but it's not like that's going to gain me entrance, would it? Just searching the internet for Leah would obviously not work. It would have been faster to exit on the right side, but no matter. Hi. Yes, miss? Did George know anyone named Leah? Leah? You mean the police officer? Mm. Police officer? Yeah. Haven't seen her around for a while, though. Did they break up or something? I have no idea. Too bad, if so. I liked her. She was good for George. Leah is a cop. You said Leah was good for George. Could you tell me why? Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> you're not a cop or anything yourself, are you? Well... No, you're not. You would have shown me your badge if you were. Forget it. Sorry. Alright, hoping to save somebody named Leah. I suppose I can go talk to Sam. He should know something about the police officer. Detective? Uh-huh. So, George Austin was involved with a police officer named Leah. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? All the secrecy. It's because the police are involved. You want to get us both in trouble? Of course not. I want to help you. Look what I discovered already. Look, I keep my distance from you for a reason. I know you got your sources. I don't know who they are, but you have a way. That goes without saying. Leah Piero was, is, a fine detective. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Maybe you can help, maybe you can't. But I know you're gonna stick your nose in no matter what I say. Sorry, but I have to. Yeah, I get that. I can't stop you, but I can't help you either. You're on your own. Believe me, detective. If there's anything I'm not, it's on my own. Well, just be careful. I suppose I could just search for her name. Can you tell me anything about Officer Piero? I told you, I can't help you on this one. Sorry. Have you ever been to Grace Church for any reason? Church? No, I haven't. Why? No reason. Forget it. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. Piero? Nope, not a public figure. I did spell that correctly, didn't I? Pi Ro? Alright. Is 
Is there any reason for me to go back inside of the police station to find information about her? Oh yeah, her desk is in here, isn't it? This one? The name on this nameplate says... No, nope, this no one. Idea. It says Piero. Huh. This must be Leah Piero's desk. Okay, in business. Unfortunately, I can't touch anything. Yep, this is Leah Piero's desk, all right. This folder seems to be full of old expense reports. Too many to go through even if I could open it. This folder... The journal is labeled Midtown Jaywalking Citations 2001 to 2004. Interesting light reading. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful, wonderful book to read at night as you drift off to sleep. Ooh, there we go. Address. I assume it's a telephone, although it's hard to tell these days. Maybe this is the photocopier and the other thing you saw, Joey. That was the telephone. It's one of those computer things. Looks like it's powered down. Hmm, cute kid. Hey. I don't know where you're going, and I ain't gonna ask. Just don't step on any toes, okay? We cops can get pretty touchy when it concerns one of our own. Yeah, so do I. What did you mean by that? Exactly what it sounded like. Whoever George was, he was one of us. Us? Yeah. Come on. It's a long way to Astoria. So, this is what a cop's salary gets you, huh? A two-story in Astoria. It's not bad. Nicer than some of the foster homes I grew up in. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we both know the drill by now. Wait, did Joey mean that sarcastically or not? It sounded like he was implying that this is a horrible house to own for a cop's salary, but actually this seems like a freaking awesome house? Whoever made this snowman made it a long time ago. Several weeks, at least. Frozen solid. There's not much I can do with it. He's all melty. Aww. I want to restore him to his former glory. I think one of my old foster homes had a tire swing, but it was so long ago, I don't remember. Um, I better not. It's hard to see inside, but I think I can see living room furniture. Lock tight. I'm not getting in this way. I'd just like to point out that my first action here is to try to break in rather than just knock on the door. Kind of weird. What does that say about me? The mailbox is a bit iced over, but shouldn't be too hard to open. I could dump my coffee on it again. There's a letter in here. It was wet and stuck to the side of the mailbox, but I got it. This letter is soaking wet. It's hmm. practically falling apart in my hands. The wired A something. Could I actually find that by searching for it, just for the... the wired... Hmm. The Piero's front door, probably locked. Locked. Joey! It's time for some breaking and entering without the breaking. But with all of the entering. Hello? Anything? Seems quiet so far. Let me look around. There's only one key on the key rack. The label on it says Emil. Painting of some old guy looking out a window. Don't know if it's art or not, but it's okay. A dresser with some random knickknacks on top, nothing relevant. A dresser with... It's a picture of the Manhattan skyline. I guess if you live out here in Queens, you'd want a memento of civilization. <laughs> I guess the opinions of this place are pretty low. Oh, hold on. I did not finish with this main room. 
one of the many variations of phone. <laughs> yeah? Is anybody there? Whoa. Who are you? Mister? Are you looking for my mom? Uh, I... Yes. Is she around? Uh-huh. I have to practice. Sorry. Damn it. The hell happened here? I think that was a kid in the photo, on her desk. He said he had to protect her. Yeah, he had to protect her, I guess. It sounds like, well, he couldn't. Obviously not after what happened. KK the troll? KK the troll. <laughs> Cute. KK the Cute. It's just a fridge humming quietly. A painting of a vase of flowers. Why do people paint these things? I don't know much about these computer things, but it looks powered down. Looks to be some drawing of a little girl. It's a self-portrait. I can't see inside, but it looks like a Valentine's Day card. It's from my dad. Cute, but uh, I don't know the first thing about dollhouses. That's okay. Neither do I. None of my dolls fit in there anyway. Hmm. That bear looks like it's been sat on more than played with. It's his fault if he doesn't get out of the way. <laughs> it's a stuffed globe of the earth. It's really coming down hard. Some kind of stuffed octopus. His name is Cute Thulu. <laughs> oh my god. That is a freaking perfect name. Cute Thulu. Some kind of stuffed- His name is Cute Thulu. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. It's a stuffed panda. She's Pandona the Giant. Her home planet is the Globe Ball, but she's too big to go back. So she stays here. Okay, she is really, really good at naming things. She's left this shirt in the middle of the floor. I guess she won't be picking it up. Seems to be in good shape. She looks 10, maybe 11. Too damn young either way. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'm practicing. I can see that. You're pretty good. Thanks. I'll only be a minute, then you can get back to it. Well, okay. My name's Joey. What's yours? Are you sure you should be here? Sure. I'm Kendra Haskins. Okay. What about your dad? Is he around? No, he's late. Late? Late for what? Picking me up. On Fridays we go to the abacus, and then I live with him until Monday. But he's late. You said you go to the abacus. It's his work. Your dad takes you to work? Mm-hmm. He's the boss. Your dad's the boss, huh? He must be a very important man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can you tell me anything else about this abacus place? It's dad's work. TVs and computers and stuff. He lets me play with them when nobody's around. Are you here all alone? No. Mom's here. Are you sure? I can't find her. I'm pretty sure. I'd know if she was gone. Okay. I can ask her to come with me. Sounds kind of creepy. Kendra, I need you to tell me the last thing you remember. Why? Just humor me. Um, I was coming home from school and... I came here. That's it. Are you sure? Yes. I've been waiting for my dad. I think she was missing a part in the story there. Hmm. I 
I'm looking for Leah, your mother. Any idea where she could be? She should be here. I'd know if she wasn't. Do you ever go to Grace Church? No, but Mom does. She does? She used to go a lot. Not anymore, though. Do you know George Austin? You mean Mom's... friend? Yeah. He's okay. Mom likes him. But you don't. Dunno. Tell me about yourself, Kendra. Dunno. Awkward. Same audio file there. <laughs> so, where is this abacus? Near the subway. Right. Uh, do you know which subway? Um, no, sorry. That's alright, we'll figure it out. We always do. I'm not gonna tell her she's dead. Um... I could have her come with me, but where? No, let's leave her for now. Okay, Kendra, I gotta go. But I'll be around to check on you, okay? Check on me? Why? Is something wrong? No, no, I just... Well, you're not alone here. You might not know what that means yet, but you're not. Okay. I'm gonna practice now. Sure. Joey, you alright? Yeah, sure, whatever. We got a spook. Is it Leah Piero? No, it's her daughter, a little girl. I see. How old? Ten, maybe eleven. And she's okay? You mean, besides being dead? Yeah, she's playing the piano. Well. Yeah, well. Yeah. Alright, see if we can make any connections here. The Abacus. I'd like to search for that, but I doubt that's the full name. Had a feeling that wouldn't work. I'm gonna need to be more specific. Yep. Leah is Kendra's mother. If there's a connection, I don't see it. Hmm. Hmm. I can't. I'm not sure I can form any new connections here. Yeah, I think I just need to go back inside. There's a lot more rooms to check out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A, and it looks like a B. The Wired Abacus. That's the name of it. Damn it, I've got this note stuck in my hand. Get that... Get, get, Get off. There we go. Bingo. City Post Tech Forum. The Wired Abacus, the first choice in consumer electronics, has finally come to New York. Come visit us at 1 Union Square South, just seconds away from blah blah blah. Okay. Let's finish checking out this place, though. Check over here on the right. An old fuse box. Planks of wood left over from some sort of building project. Just an empty shelf. A blown light bulb. A painting of some miserable old dame in a crinoline. I don't even know what a crinoline is. Just a poster for some old junk car. A Christmas tree. Plastic, naturally. Some half-empty old plastic bottles. The only light in this room is coming from the street lamp outside that window. A kid's bike with a crumpled front wheel. Hmm. Just a bedroom, pretty sparsely furnished. Nothing useful in here. Alright, it's time to go. Joey, could you get out here? 
Aha. Come on. Frozen solid. So Kendra's dad is the boss of this place? This is just a bunch of junk. You insult my people, Joey. This is beautiful, beautiful technology. Do not insult it. This is awesome. This is like a world I would love. Screens and computers and more screens. Flat screen televisions. Much more recent models than the one I've got. I remember that old cartoon. It must be on DVD now or something. I'm not here to steal a television. <laughs> I think those are noise-canceling headphones. Looks like a controller for a game console. Not sure which one. Alright, I think it's time to save it again. And I think I'm also going to end this episode here. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I am really enjoying it so far. I mean, it has some... You know, it, it has pretty much what I expect as far as the puzzles go, because I played the previous ones and I had some problems with how the puzzles were designed, and, you know, there's some convolutedness to the puzzles, as pretty much always when I play adventure games. They always annoy me somewhat. But so far, aside from the first one, it's really not... It, the puzzles have actually been really good, aside from the first one that I really didn't like. Yeah, really good. And of course, aside from the puzzles, just the, the story and the characterization, which is... The main thing that I find interesting about the series is still going strong. I just I love the characters. I really love them. They're just they're just lovely. I just want to hear them, you know, I want to click on everything in the environment and just hear their thoughts about everything. Even if it's just a plank of wood, I want to switch from Rosa to Joey and hear both of their thoughts just on a plank of wood. I just want to hear yeah, I just want to hear their thoughts. It's awesome. I love this game. And god, the art and the music is beautiful. In other words, I'm really, really enjoying it. So, I hope you are too, and I will be back soon to explore the Wired Abacus.